everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, and welcome back to the awesome episode of Shell Shock Live. And in today's episode, we are going to be going ahead and hopefully finishing off in a big way our double Shell Shock double upload days. So th this is it. This, we made it. We made it two days in. We, we did it. But now it's time to win our last round of this bad boy and uh, and call it quits. Not really. We're probably going to play Shell Shock tomorrow again. Because we love Shell Shock. So, anyway, let's see. If I was to hit this guy, I mean, 86. I mean, 86 sounds about right. And it's Flower, too. Oh! And it looks like AK Cub went after him right off the bat. Oh my god, Wire How. Look at that. Perfect. That's literally on point to drop in right on him. So, if I was to drop. Oh, jeez. Well, now he's moving on closer to us. Now I'm a little scared. I might use a sub sniper on him, being he's really up close. And oh my god, I just realized we are totally so close to getting for ourselves the uh, upgrade of sub sniper, which is smart sniper. So I'm actually very excited for that. Uh oh, double bounder. Oh, poor AK Cub. Getting smacked around. But remember to click that like button if you want to see more Shell Shock in the near future. Probably going to do one tomorrow morning as well. So I guess it's kind of like you get five of them in a row and not so much four in two days. So go figure. Anyway, here we go. Sub sniper time right on this guy. From this close, it won't do that much damage. Probably going to do like 50, 60 damage. Okay, I can do that. And oh, he had another 3D bomb. How many 3D bombs you got in there, buddy? He must have quite a few of them or something because he's just totally going at him. All right, he's got 36 HP. What do I have that can kill him in one shot with 36 HP? If I can get close enough to shank him, uh, I might be able to shank him next turn. Let's just type that in there. That way our guy saves ammo. And, uh oh, that guy just totally, totally just wrecked us there. There we go. Uh, yeah, he's close enough. Uh, all right, perfect. So it looks like I'm going to be able to shank this guy to death. A perfect knife kill. And then hopefully AK Cub can take care of the other guy or start doing some damage. And he's about to use a new move. He said, what does Slam do? I've never heard of it personally, so I'm very excited to find out. What the heck is that? Well, what? Holy. That's pretty good. 66 damage. That's sick. I've, like, never... I've never seen that before. I mean, it stinks because the guy just got 30 armor from one little chest there. But at the same time, it's still pretty good. And oh, oh, please miss. That's going to do a lot of damage to us, isn't it? Isn't that? That's a lot of grenades bouncing around. How many of them are we going to be able to dodge? Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. That was two separate eights that did damage. I thought that was saying it did 88 damage. And I was like, are you serious? But, but it was two separate ones that said eight. Okay, perfect. Well, we should be good over here. Uh, honestly, I think 79 will probably bring us very close to this guy. So let's try it. Let's try it 79. We'll do Fountain just in case because, you know, want to be able to have a little bit of an AoE here in case we miss, which we did miss. And oh my god, all the Fountains still missed. All right, so we overshot that by quite a bit here. Probably should bring it on back 1 to 2, honestly. Or I could just position myself, like, right about there and fire, which probably would make more sense. So we're going to try that. Oh, that was a close napalm. I mean, he still hit me with a little bit of it, but that could have been so much worse. So we're going to move there. We're going to tick it up one, just like that. Perfect. And there it should be good, I believe. So we'll use a ghost bomb, guarantee ourselves 30 damage, and then hopefully, yep, he has some kind of move that will guarantee some damage. Saw blade for 30. Ghost bomb for 30. Oh, my God, he's still alive. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm just playing around. We'll be able to take him out. We'll be able to take him out. So, it looks like it's going to be a solid round one for us. Uh, what can I do? I, you know, I'm going to do Summoner to end this one off. I think... Oh, that was lucky. None of those Rampages did any damage to us at all. Well, there we go. Time to drop in one little Summoner on him and hopefully end it off. And it looks like AK Cub is... Well, I don't think he has any shot at all. Unless he's got, like, a Dead Riser or a Tunneler or Substance. I mean, he could do something below the ground, but... Oh my gosh, he just shot himself in the face for 40 damage. Well, not that it matters too much, because I think we're about to get the last kill. There we go! So, a big GG for round one. Click that like button if you've been enjoying, and we'll be right back with the second round. All right, we're back with another round on the waviest of maps. So, there we go. Let's, let's try and drop... I think 89, that'll probably land right on him right there. Oh my gosh, we have a lot of cool tech. Wait a minute. 
Next turn, I'm heavy napalming this guy from up close. I am so curious to find out how much damage that does. Because napalm up close will do 100-something damage when you just spread it on them. Oh, no! AK cup, please! Luckily, it's just bounce strike. So, realistically, it's probably not going to hit. Oh, right? No. Yeah, he's not going to really do any damage to me. But that stinks, though. Look at that. The Mega Builder of Dreams messed up. So sad. So sad. But that's fine. We'll hit him with the next one. Uh, we have a grand finale that we can drop right in there on him. Uh, and where he is positioned right now, Heavy Napalm might not realistically be a good attack. Oh, he ringered me. Mm. Good good tactics right there, buddy. I was actually not going to lie. It was pretty good. pretty good attack. Because uh, he just kind of shot himself in the face, but it moved perfectly into position. So, very smart. There we go. Well, grand finale for this guy. And then hopefully that'll level him into an area where I can just lean down from up top and fire heavy napalm down. Because the problem with heavy napalm is you can't direct hit people as I've found before. It'll go right through them. What you have to do is you have to make it land right on the platform that they're on. Which means pretty much, let's say they're on the ground. You have to get it to land on the ground, the part of the thingy that they're on, or else he does no damage. So... Yeah, it's kind of what we have to do. Oh gosh, this guy's literally just climbing that wall towards me. Well, I vote we climb towards him as well. You know, two can play at this game, buddy. Mr. Taco, two can play at this game for sure. Uh oh, where's this going? Where's this going? Oh, he's going for AK Cub. And a big swing and a miss for him. So that's good for us. Uh, oh, I could probably... I might be able to just drop in Napalm. You know what, though? Let's just try it. Let's just... I think we'll, I mean, I doubt we're going to miss this one from this close. So let's try and drop it like right there-ish. Let's try and go like right there. Something like that. Something like that. There we go. Heavy napalm. Direct on him. Oh my gosh. We don't even know how much damage it does because it just did 143 and killed him. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Who would have thought napalm would be so good? Like, napalm... I, when I first saw it, I thought it was like flame or it wasn't that good. And then I re like recently found out how great it is. And I'm like, okay, this is probably like the best attack that the game has to offer. Okay. Um, what could I do here? No oh, kittens might. You know what, actually? Let's just try and do... Yeah, we'll try and do kittens. Let's just see where this ends up. I think 76 is about on point. But we'll we'll be able to get a gauge for the middle of it. Yeah, I mean, it's actually the worst gauge ever. I have absolutely no idea what that means in terms of our play. Gear! No, come back to me! Baby, come back! You can blame it all on 2D! That's what I do every day! Okay, well, that didn't work too well. Uh, what, what, what do, what do? Uh, we could do bone arrow, we could do minions, 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 we'll do minions, yes. Let's just try minions. I'm hitting the A button, and I'm not moving. I guess we're... Must be too steep. It's kind of sad. Um, let's try and do minions here. Here we go. Come on. Just be close enough. All right, those two are not. Wait. Dang. Okay, I literally have no idea realistically where this guy is. So maybe I'll just shoot a molehill. Because that one's kind of random too. Because when it lands, it's still going to jiggle a little bit to the side. So let's just try that. Just so we can find out like where we're even shooting. Because... We missed two in a row, very badly. So, yeah! Alright, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Not uh-oh, they're all gone. He just literally shot, like, every shot through the portal. So, realistically, none of those are gonna hit us. Alright, let's see where Mole Hill ends up. I imagine it's probably gonna land about, like, right here-ish on this little mountain. And then, hopefully, curve into him. Maybe it'll curve the wrong way, because I don't like Mole Hill, but we'll see. Oh my gosh, no! That would literally just... That would have hit him. That actually would have just drilled him right there. Oh my gosh, perfect. He's in position. Could probably bow and arrow him next turn. Hopefully, as long as the ground doesn't move. So as long as he doesn't move me or there's no earthquake or anything like that, we could probably just bow and arrow him next turn. It'll be a close one for sure, but we're going to give it a try. Of course we're going to give it a try. Uh-oh, counter 3,000. And come on. Yes, they all missed. Okay. So let's move. Oh, jeez, we just got a new thing. What weapon? Mini turret. Oh, we could mini turret. Or we could just bow and arrow and try and win the game. Okay, let's do that. And then we'll do, maybe if that misses, we'll do mini turret. Mini turret's always fun, for sure. But, you know, when you got a chance to bow and arrow someone like this, I want to take it. I want to take it. Come on. 
Oh my gosh, no! His shadow moved him! He goes, oh shit, sorry. Lol, it's okay. No! We were gonna bow and arrow him, dude! Oh, I probably should have said that out loud that that's what I was gonna do. It's kind of my fault. Oh, that's okay. We'll mini turret right on this guy and we'll be able to call it a day. Which would be nice. And we're going mini turret is in position. Alright, what are we gonna do? What you gonna do over there, buddy? I don't think he's gonna do Oh, no, chicken. No moss chicken! No moss chicken! Yeah, they're all, they're all, they fell short. They all fell short. Oh my gosh. Well, if it wasn't a GG before, that's pretty much going to ensure it. Here we go. GG! Mini turrets through the double da Did he just sub-sniper himself? Oh my gosh, no, 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 he's gonna sub- I really hope I kill him here. Okay, good. Okay, good. Because our teammate was trying to kill himself, and I was like, I'm gonna feel so dumb if this doesn't kill him. But, yeah, double damage mini turret, not much you can do there. Great round number two, we'll be right back with round number three! And, yeah, I'll see you there. Alright, so we're heading in for the final round, everybody. And I think for my first strike, I'm just gonna do a bounder, just to kind of gauge where they're at. Um... Imagine 79, I imagine, is going to hit close to Notorious Taco, but I'm not sure still. Oh my god, that ringer almost bounded. Wow! Yeah, that was actually a really good first shot. Um, perfect. Well, we have a little bit of a lock here. Uh, Needle Alert's not doing Needle Alert, though. That would do so much to- Oh my god, now we definitely- No, we lost. I was going to say, we definitely have a lock. Oh, wait, no, now we're back. We're basically have a lock again. Well, this is getting weird. Um, what do I want to do? I guess I'll bouquet this guy. It's going to- Realistically, a bouquet will do a ton of damage. Oh, jeez, what are you just about? No, not rave, not rave. Rave is such a good attack. All right, so right, I imagine right there will probably hit with the bouquet. So we're gonna drop bouquet right on him, and then from here we'll be able to. Oh, gear! Give me that gear! Give me the gear! And come on, yes. Okay, there we go. 83 damage, bouquet. Why don't you? Um, I could drop a shrapnel in there. I don't know if it'll land where I want it. Nah, because I don't think it's going to stay, you know? That's a problem with shrapnel. But I could move back a little bit, and then... Oh, okay, never mind, he moved again. I was going to say, if I move back a little bit, I could drop a kittens and maybe hit both of them with it, which would be nice. Uh, I'm going to do Nomas chicken on this guy. Nomas! We're throwing the chicken in anyway. You can't stop me. I do what I want. It's my show. <laughs> I don't really care. I, I do what I want, so... Okay. Um, all right let's see let's see uh well that's really a bad position um all right so when we move back let's basically move back about one tick so we need to go there to get back to our original positioning and one more probably to get right on him so that should probably be good but we'll see we'll see what happens with that one um come on chicken chicken they all missed. They all, all, all the Nomas chicken missed. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Oh my gosh. Well, hopefully we'll get him on the next turn. Looks like AK Cubs just running right at two badger there. So that's good. I'm gonna try, I'll drop a jammer in. Cause I feel like if I drop jammer in, there's gonna be a good chance I can deal like 20, 30 damage. Somewhere, somewhere in between there probably. Oh geez. Well, we got shot with a bow and arrow or a teammate did. No, no. Oh, good shooting, good shooting, friend, because I can't, yeah, I can't get out of that pit. Okay, well, he got us trapped in the pit here. Um, not the end of the world, we'll just use Jammer and hopefully be able to smack it a little further, so I think we should be okay. Is AK Cup going for Notorious Taco as well? I guess he's trying to help me out here. That's nice of him. I don't know what attack he's just doing. Oh, you smart sniper on him. Oh! And then I apparently use Jammer on our own teammate. Because I'm really good. Not really. But, you know. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Round of points. Funny enough, I'm actually titling and about to make one of my other Shell Shocks lives. Just to give you guys a little time frame. Sometimes I film these the day prior. Sometimes I film these the day of. Right now, for instance, I have a Shell Shock going live. It's my 30 turns one. So there we go. Look at that. See? And boom, shakalaka should be a public. Boom, shakalaka, watch out for the baka. Um, I don't even know what I want to do. Let's just do rampage. Okay, well, our teammate just destroyed the guy that we were trying to hit with a rampage. And then he just got sad, dude. 
<laughs> well, it looks like we pretty much just doomed AK Cub. Uh, yes. No, we can't go there. All right, let's just move this like a bunch to like 79. And then we'll do fighter jets. Let's try fighter jets. Okay, hopefully we can avoid the orange portal. Please avoid the orange portal. Please avoid the orange portal. Please avoid the orange portal. I feel like the more times I say it, the more likely it is to happen. But it didn't. Oh, Jesus! Never mind, we didn't need it to happen. Apparently the fighter jet just shot him anyway. Perfect. Well, let's try and do some palms here on this guy. Because I think we've got a decent lock on the area. And he doesn't have much health left, so Palm should be able to end this for us. There we go. Boom! And that's gonna do it, my friends. So I want to thank you all for watching and joining us. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Shellshock. If you did, click that like button, because get ready. We got another Shellshock coming at you tomorrow morning. Apart from that, take care. Have an awesome day, my friends. And thank you again for joining us.